I was hoping tonight to get the city of Niles to, as a group or individually, contact the parole board. A former Niles policeman and now the chief in Vienna asked Niles Council to do what they can to keep the killer of policeman John Utlack in prison. Next on First News at 10, what one councilman had to say. The owner of the Chokan plant comes up with an idea, but the city says no. What the company's lawyer has to say about the possibility of a lawsuit. Well, a mild night across the area after another day of above average temperatures. Find out how long that string lasts and when the next chance of rain is coming up. And one of the Mahoning Valley's most powerful organized crime figures has died. Mahoning County's prosecutor comments on the death of Lenny Stroller. Investigative, in-depth, local coverage starts now. This is WKBN 27 First News at 10 on Fox Youngstown. A convicted cop killer is eligible for parole hearing. Tonight, a local police chief is asking for help in stopping it. Good evening, I'm Stan Boney. And I'm Alexis Walters. Niles police officer John Utlack was murdered in 1982. This evening, a former Niles policeman and the current chief in Vienna asked Niles City Council for help in keeping his killer in prison. First News reporter Aaron Dean has our top story at 10. Wednesday night, former Niles police officer Bob Lute spoke to the Niles City Council asking for help.